Hello and welcome to the Sterling Aircraft Project YouTube channel. In this first episode we'll be talking about a brief history of the aircraft and to try and help you understand what the project is and what we're hoping to achieve. The Sterling was the first four-engined monoplane heavy bomber introduced into service with the RAF. It was considered a huge shift at the time when the Air Ministry were primarily opting for smaller, faster bombers to be built, such as the Blenheim and the Hamden in the late 30s. The Sterling became a workhorse for Bomber Command in the first months and years of the war. However, being the largest bomber to serve with the RAF in World War II, its immense size did come with its disadvantages. So, what is the project? The aim is to recreate the forward fuselage of a Mark III Sterling represented by EE944 of 218 Squadron. The project is based in Cambridgeshire, which was a stronghold for Bomber Command, having 16 operational bomber stations, of which 9 had Sterlings based at them during the course of the war. This digitally enhanced image shows exactly what we're trying to achieve with the forward fuselage. Everything to the right hand side of the thick red line is what we're hoping to recreate. Each of the smaller black lines shows the frames of the fuselage. These very detailed CAD models along with others that I will show going forward have been created by our very talented volunteers and show the complexity of the internal structure of the forward fuselage. Before continuing with the video, I would just like to take a moment to tell you about a website that was compiled by the Dutch Aircraft Recovery Group involved with the discovery of Sterling BK716. The website details the crew, the mission and the eventual discovery of the wreckage. Some of the wreckage was donated to our project and has become invaluable to understanding how the Sterling was manufactured, enabling us to accurately recreate the forward fuselage as a memorial to the aircrew who lost their lives in BK716 and many other Sterlings. Please note that much of the wreckage that you'll see within the videos are from BK716. For those interested in reading more about BK716, I will leave a link to the website in the description below. The first part of the Sterling that we're going to be building will be the forward section of the bomb bay from frame 14 forward to frame 5. This image shows Sterling factory workers assembling components that make up the bomb bay. This is our custom made jig that we'll be building our section of the bomb bay onto. The fixed level surface of the jig allows us to create a datum to attach all the components to. Jigging is an extremely important process in building an aircraft. For this reason, shorts use jigs like this one to build their Bombay components. That way they knew they could get an accurate, repeatable structure every time. This is a cutaway of our CAD model of the Bombay section. It shows all the main components, including the floor of the fuselage, the centre and outer bomb frames, and the keels, which help hold the bomb frames together. The majority of this CAD model was created from measurements taken from the wreckage of BK716. Now, the keen-eyed among you may have noticed that this CAD model is the opposite way up to the picture you've just seen. Here you can see a piece of keel and bomb frame clamped to our jig, the opposite way up to that shown in the picture. That's because when Shorts originally built the bomb bay, they built it the opposite way round and at some point during the assembly process turned it the right way up. As you can see here, the picture shows 
that the Bombay is in fact the orientation that we are building it in. This is the piece of keel previously shown with some of our new bomb frames so that you can see how the structure would start to come together on the jig. The real question is, is why build it this way up? Why not follow Short's original idea? Well, the main reason is, is we don't have a massive gantry or crane to turn the jig after we finish using it. The other, and probably much more plausible reason, is that we really just like doing things the hard way. I'd like to thank you very much for watching this first episode, and if you'd like to find out more about the project, I'll put links to our website and social media in the description below. If you're interested in volunteering, please get in touch using the contact details on our website or through social media. Any donations are gratefully received as we are a registered charity and all funds goes towards furthering the project. If you do have any questions about the video, please put them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer as many as possible. Thank you very much for watching and see you all soon.